What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to a preview of the uh, new Tanoa map from Arma 3. Uh, for those of you that have already pre-purchased the Apex uh, DLC for Arma 3, you can go ahead and uh, access the developmental branch of the game through your uh, properties. Just right click on your Arma 3. Uh, and then click on properties, excuse me, I had to clear my throat there, but, uh, then click on properties and, uh, forgot what the next tab was, but I know that, uh, there are plenty of guides to kind of tell you how to do all that kind of shit. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at this map today, and while I'm doing that in the background for the first couple minutes here, I wanted to kind of explain to you guys... Uh, what's been going on the past couple weeks? Uh, so Jack and Thor, Abdel Rani, and myself, we all managed to uh, find an Altus Life server that we thought was pretty good, and we all started playing on it. And I was getting quite a bit of footage together for you guys because I was going to start another Altus Life series, but unfortunately, um, some some shit happened. I ended up getting banned and not even knowing that I was possibly facing a ban. So I don't know. Um, I tried to log into the server one day and it told me that I was banned for 48 hours, which wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, I just wanted to know why. Once I found out the reason why, I kind of had an issue with it and I didn't think that it was a bannable offense and I really would have rather them try to contact me uh you know because there's all my information is on their forums and it's all up to date so don't know why they didn't try to contact me in the first place and try to ask me about it and try to get my side of the story that would have been nice but i guess you know that's only if it was in a perfect world which this is not and uh so yeah uh, all that footage was basically deleted after that because obviously I'm not going to want to advertise a, uh, a server that I'm playing on if I don't necessarily agree with the way that they choose to handle things such as bands. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much a couple of weeks wasted. Uh, there was also some issues. I've been trying like crazy to get you guys some uh, Daisy standalone videos because I know that's Oddly enough you guys really enjoy the standalone videos. I'm not too sure why I mean, I, okay I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I don't understand why uh, I'm not sure why you like my Daisy standalone videos because most of it is just me running around not finding any loot, and then that's pretty much the end of the video. But since you guys enjoy my my misery, uh, as I cannot find even a damaged can of fucking beans in Daisy, um, I will be putting out more Daisy standalone videos. Uh, the recent uh, decrease in videos altogether is because every time I try to go to make a Daisy standalone video, I can't log into any of the experimental servers. And I don't really feel like playing stable. Um, mostly because, you know, it just doesn't have the uh, all, all the newest features that you guys are wanting me to, to show off and everything. So, I don't know. It's, it's basically just been a clusterfuck of trying to get things together. And uh, things just not working out over time. Actually, I need to figure out... Okay, here's another one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that you guys have something to look at in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the background here. While I'm just rambling on and on and on and on. Um, but the good news is that we're going to be coming back with some more videos. Obviously, this is a uh, very brief tour of Tanoa. Um, with Apex coming out, are there any more? Yeah, there should be. Ooh, what is this over here? Um... But yeah, with Apex coming out soon, there should be at least a uh, some kind of some kind of Tanoa series. I don't think we'll do like a Tanoa Life series unless well, well we'll we'll get into all that here in just a second. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. This is like a little uh, little military outpost right here. That's actually kind of cool. Look at these fucking cannons, dude. That's awesome. I mean, they're not actually cannons. Holy 
fuck. Okay. Can you go into these bunkers? What? Oh, that's sick. Alright, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a fucking sniper haven right over here, dude. I mean, look at this. You can fucking snipe people all the way over here on this fucking pier and shit. You know, you're just over here fucking walking around. Da, 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 and then all of a sudden, fucking bam, a shot comes from up here. Oh, that was kind of fast. But yeah, a shot comes from up here and fucking. Oh. That kind of looks like a penis. Uh, okay. Um, but anyways, what the fuck is all this shit? Oh, well, wow. okay, so I'm I'm getting sidetracked from from the point that I'm trying to make here um, Yeah, we'll hopefully try to have like a wasteland series on Tanoa. I think that uh, with Tanoa being the way it is um, I think there's gonna be a lot of potential for just straight up PvP servers. Uh, Wasteland, Exile, um, probably even Breaking Point. Have I been here yet? No, I don't think I've been here yet. Uh, but yeah, probably even Breaking Point to an extent. Uh, I mean, this map is. Uh, yeah. Quite a bit more pretty, I believe. Than Altus and Stratus. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm I'm having a hard time putting the words together. I'm just also at the same time just trying to look around and get an idea for for how the map looks and everything. Which I mean, it really looks fucking good. Like this is way better than Stratus and Altus. And uh, and I haven't even been around the entire fucking island yet. What's going on with these guys? Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. So this is how you would like you would approach it from the land over here. It's kind of cool. Some little fucking little beach shanties, I guess. Um, let's see where am I at right now? I'm over here. I need to go straight because I want to check out Georgetown. I can't fucking set a waypoint or anything like that. So. But yeah, I want to head over to Georgetown because that's the, uh, there it is. That's the biggest. Actually, we'll go here first. But Georgetown is the, uh, biggest one on the map. Because, I mean, it's it starts, like, right here, pretty much. And this is just a small little fucking suburb of Georgetown, it looks like. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as videos and everything are concerned, don't worry about any of that shit. Um new videos are going to be coming out. I mean, this is the first of several new videos that are going to start coming out very soon. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm putting together a Daisy standalone ser uh, series for you guys. Um, it'll probably last the standard season uh, length, which is 10 episodes per season. Um, and then also, we have been working on an Arma 3 Life uh, series for you guys. Um, something to quickly mention about the Arma 3 Life series, it is like a legit Arma 3 Life server. I know that I did an Arma 3 Life video quite a while ago. Uh, that was actually one that you didn't have to get whitelisted for, so it was pretty much, it was pretty much like an Altus Life server, but without the, uh, without the restrictions to either Altus or Stratus. Um, actually, or you know, rather just Altus. Uh, it was just basically Altus life on a fucking, on, on the lakeside map itself, so. I don't know, it it, it, it was okay, but I don't know. I, I, I like being on the legit server, you know, having to get whitelisted to be a civilian and all that kind of shit. Uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, so far, I've you know we've all had a fucking amazing time on that server. I got to be honest. Uh, it's you know every day we log in. There's there's just something interesting going on, something new to do, new to do, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And that also gives me 
the opportunity to be able to bring you guys some pretty awesome videos because like I said there's there's quite a few interesting characters that we've come across and we haven't even been there an entire week yet so um, but yeah we're just quickly looking through the graveyard here and uh, yeah, I think Georgetown I don't know for some reason I was expecting something bigger of Georgetown I mean don't get me wrong it's fucking it's pretty big I mean I, I, I gotta give it to you know Bohemia but uh yeah I don't know maybe once I get around in like a vehicle and drive around uh, through the city it'll seem a little bit bigger plus I'm not exactly sure how many of these buildings uh, you can actually go into so it'll be fun to figure all that kind of shit out eventually um I think you can only go up the stairs on these but yeah there are quite a few fucking awesome buildings what does it say care chemist pharmacy okay interesting uh, but yeah, there there are quite a few more places we could explore uh, on the Tanoa map and everything. Like I said, I just kind of wanted this to be in the background while I was kind of uh, explaining, you know, what's going to be going on here during the next couple of weeks. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to have Arma 3 Life videos, Daisy standalone videos... Uh, we'll have a Daisy mod video thrown in there every once in a while. We'll have this, we'll have that. You know, just back to the old way of, you know, just testing things out, seeing what you guys like, seeing what you guys don't like. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything lands well with you guys. And, you know, if, if it doesn't, then not a problem. You know, we'll just go ahead and get rid of it and keep moving on to the next thing. Uh, but anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and this, uh, you know, my little rant and this quick look at Tanoa. Uh, if you guys, like I said, have already purchased the Apex DLC for Arma 3, then all you really have to do is just go into the developmental branch, uh, version of the game, and I think it's a 6.2 gigabyte download or something like that. Wait for the download to finish, get on, and take a look around to know it for yourself. Um, but if you guys have any questions about the uh, upcoming videos or anything like that, just go ahead and leave me a comment down there in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.